As if you needed any more reasons, here's a new reason Burger King sucks donkey balls. <laughs> Guten Tag feeders, it's me, Noah Gluten. Not too long ago, Burger King launched a new menu item which they call perfect for snacking on the go. But the problem was the new snack was totally stolen from a food blogger and also does not seem all that perfect. The vulgar chef, a guy who has a channel right here on the YouTubes, put up his video last September. In it, he shows you how to DIY Cheetos crusted mac and cheese fries. It's the kind of thing that uh, YouTube food video dreams are made of if you have dreams of diabetes. It's also the kind of thing that Burger King executives with no creativity or scruples dreams are made of because they seemingly straight up stole his idea and are now selling an undoubtedly disgusting version of them uh, under the name Mac and Cheetos. Now the vulgar chef is understandably pissed. In an interview with Food Beast, he railed against Burger King taking his idea, making it shitty, and never even giving him any credit. And the worst part is, this happened to him many times before. He says that uh, BuzzFeed and Thrillist have both been repeat offenders in stealing his ideas, and he's not the first person. In fact, many people have claimed uh, BuzzFeed stole their content. In fact, the vulgar chef is pretty sure that the only reason BuzzFeed even credits recipes nowadays is from him calling them out on stealing his ideas in the past. Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot he can do when it comes to Burger King. For one, his recipe wasn't even copyrighted, and even if he did want to pursue legal action, he's just one dude against a huge corporation that has more lawyers than chefs. I'm saying this because I'm fairly certain from my own personal research that Burger King has somewhere around less than zero chefs. Burger King is no stranger to plagiarizing menu items. Uh, they unapologetically duped the Big Mac, and we even uh, taste tested that product right here on the show. Well, that was a few years ago. I'm actually currently still waiting for it to exit my colon. So this is just an instance where instead of ripping off another massive company, the little guy is the one who got fucked over by Big Mac and Cheese Cheetos. We suggest that you, one, stop supporting Burger King, which we always tell you to do anyway, and two, support food bloggers who are actually coming up with original content. Check out the Vulgar Chef's blog, subscribe to his YouTube channel. Hell, you can even buy his ebook. It's a great thing for people to do who want to feel like they're doing something noble while also still eating like shit. That's it for us today. I'm Noah Gluten. Subscribe to Taste It for more episodes of The Food Feeder, a food news show where we blatantly talk trash about the very corporations that can actually fund and thereby save our channel.